How's it going everyone? My name is Mulder and welcome back to the Game Cron. Today we're looking at Assassin's Creed Valhalla, what to build next at your settlement. This is a direct follow-up video to my Assassin's Creed Valhalla, what to build first at your settlement. Which if you haven't watched that video yet, definitely go over and take a look so that you'll be up to date on what's about to be covered in this video next. Speaking of videos, if you enjoy this one, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Now one thing to keep in mind is that some of the buildings I'll be talking about in this video, you won't be able to build just yet until your settlement is up to either Colony or Hamlet ranking. Now if you're low on supplies and more on materials, there are going to be three monasteries you can tackle in the center of the map, provided that your power level is between 50 to 70. Your crew should make short work of the guards there and loot as much as you can to where you're going to need those supplies in order to build all these new buildings. Speaking of, the first building I want you to focus on making is the Hidden Ones Bureau. The Hidden Ones Bureau is the Assassin's Bureau to where not only will you learn the Faith Leap, but you're also going to be able to go on assassination missions now. You'll be able to get intel on certain targets depending upon what areas you've discovered so far in the game. But what's also great about this is well is that there's any particular tough targets like say a zealot or a knight that you're trying to take down the assassination missions will give you some detail about these characters and where to locate them so if you're itching to do some assassination missions and get a lot of xp for it definitely build the hidden ones bureau as soon as you can but the next building i'm going to talk about that you should build once your settlement reaches a few new levels is the cartographer building building a place for your cartographer allows you to know what type of wealth items you can pick up depending upon what places you've already explored for example if you're having a hard time looking for some books of knowledge crafting items or simply just supplies to further upgrade your settlement Paying a small little fee of silver can get you that information from this character. Once you bought what you needed, quickly look on your map and you'll notice that the icon will be blinking, showing you where it is. This will save you a ton of time trying to find certain items that you're looking for instead of having to go explore all over the place if you're not into that. The next place I built next was the stable in Avery to where now you can upgrade and get a brand new horse or even get a brand new raven. But not only can you get a new animal if you wish, but you can also upgrade them now to where they can have better stamina, higher health, and you can also teach your horse how to swim. This is all upgradable depending upon how many levels you want to invest in that particular skill. For me, I've just focused on my horse having level 1 stamina, level 1 health, and level 1 swimming, simply because I don't really use my mount that much in dangerous situations. Plus, I want to hang on to my silver for more important things later down the road. But this is an excellent place to where you can get a new mount and also a brand new raven. Now, the final three places I'm going to talk about are all up to you of whether or not you want to invest your supplies into these places, but the next one is the shipyard. Now, the shipyard allows you to customize your ship to your liking to where you have your own particular type of longship once you hit the seas. If you watched my last video where I mentioned you should invest inside the trading post, this is one of those opportunities to where you can buy certain cosmetics and designs for your ship that you can now attach now that you've unlocked the shipyard. In terms of actual importance, the shipyard is more of a fun thing to build, but since we've already talked about a lot of the most important things for you to focus on, having a shipyard is still fun to have. Now the next building is important to focus on if you choose to go on a lot of hunting missions. That building is of course the fishing hut. When you unlock the fishing hut, you'll get two new things. The first is that now you'll have a fishing rod to where now you can go fishing and accomplish certain special types of missions to where for example you may need to get a fish for a special type of bear if you choose to do the berserker mission this will make life a lot easier for you but what's another great thing about using this fishing rod is that at the fishing hut there are special bounties to where if you hunt this particular type of fish or fishes you'll be able to get a very good reward at the end of the day this reward can range into crafting items special types of cosmetics to even some types of special gear depending upon what type of bounties or bounties you've completed already i'm not a huge fan of fishing in video games but for those of you out there that really want to dive into this game and take your time, definitely invest into the fishing hut if you want to go hunting. For fish, of course. Now you should have just enough supplies and raw materials left to where you can build one more building, which the building I chose to focus on is my brewery. Building a brewery adds more to your feast. Any type of buildings that focus on agriculture are going to increase your overall feast level and overall morale of your characters. Every time you host a feast, your morale of your characters and your settlement will go up. Not to mention the fact that you'll also regain any type of lost health or stamina before you did your feast. This is a great way to get a few extra boosts for your characters right before you're about to do a difficult raid. So if you build a bakery like I mentioned in my last video and build a brewery, now it's time to hit the feast. And that's it for our Assassin's Creed Valhalla what to build next at your settlement video. I'll be doing a few more videos on my settlement along with tons of more videos on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so I hope you stick around. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Not only do I have tons of Assassin's Creed Valhalla content planned, but I'm also going to be doing tons of content on Cyberpunk 2077 the moment that game comes out. But for now, enjoy our content on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I'll see you next time in the Game Cron. Come